We've all been there. The excitement of buying your first home mixed with the anxiety of making the right choice. It's a big step and the last thing you need is to end up with a money pit or a house that doesn't fit your lifestyle. That's where I come in. Hey there, future homeowners. I'm Tony Janko, your trusted realtor. I've had the pleasure of helping over 700 families here in central Indiana find their dream home. And many of them were first time buyers just like you. Today, I'm here to guide you through the exciting yet sometimes overwhelming world of first time home buying. I'm sharing insider tips to help you avoid some common pitfalls. We're talking about six types of homes first time buyers could steer clear of in the Indianapolis market. So grab a pen and paper because this information could save you thousands of dollars and a whole lot of headaches. Let's get started. Number one, fixer uppers, which we call it the money pit trap. Fixer uppers can be alluring with their lower price tags, but they're often a wolf in sheep's clothing. Behind that charming facade could be a host of hidden problems, outdated electrical systems, leaky roofs, or even foundation issues. These repairs can add up quickly, blowing your budget and turning your dream home into a financial nightmare. Imagine falling in love with a cozy bungalow only to discover it needs a new HVAC system, a complete kitchen remodel, and foundation repairs. Those costs can easily spiral into the tens of thousands of dollars, not to mention the stress and time involved in managing the renovation. As a first time buyer, it's usually wiser to opt for a more move in ready home or newer construction where major repairs are less likely. Save the fixer upper dreams for when you have more experience and financial flexibility. Number two, large homes and the overwhelming overhead. That sprawling mansion might seem like the ultimate dream, but remember, bigger isn't always better, especially for first time buyers. Large homes come with large expenses, higher property taxes, higher homeowners insurance, skyrocketing utility bills, and constant maintenance. Think about it. Heating and cooling a 5,000 square foot home is significantly more expensive than a cozy 1,500 square foot starter home. Plus, there's more space to clean, more rooms to furnish, and more potential for things to break. Start with a home that fits your current budget and needs. You can always upgrade later when you're more financially established and ready for the responsibilities of a larger home. Number three, homes in a floodplain. Indianapolis might not be coastal, but we do have areas susceptible to flooding. Remember, even areas close to small rivers or streams can be at high risk. Buying in a floodplain can lead to a soggy mess. Think ruined belongings, structural damage, and mandatory expensive flood insurance. Imagine waking up to a foot of water in your basement after a heavy rain. The cleanup, repairs, and potential mold issues can be a major headache and cause huge financial burdens. Check flood maps carefully and consider elevation before you fall in love with the house. A significantly higher price tag in a safer location could save you thousands in the long run. Plus, it may be harder to resell a home in a floodplain in the future as potential buyers will face the same flood risks and higher insurance costs. Number four, homes too far from work, family, or amenities. We call it the commute conundrum. A long commute can eat up your time, money, and sanity. Factor in gas costs, vehicle wear and tear, and the sheer frustration of possibly sitting in traffic. Plus, being far from family, friends, and amenities can make life less convenient and less enjoyable. Imagine spending two hours a day commuting to and from work. That's time that could be spent with loved ones, pursuing hobbies, or simply relaxing. Plus, those gas bills really add up. Prioritize location. Find a home that offers a reasonable commute and easy access to the things that matter to you the most. Number five, older homes. They're charming, but they're challenging. Indianapolis boasts some gorgeous historical homes with tons of character. However, they often come with a heavy dose of maintenance and repairs. You'll likely face higher homeowners insurance costs and increased utility bills due to poor insulation and inefficient HVAC systems. Plus, Outdated electrical or plumbing system, lead-based paint, and other unexpected surprises can quickly drain your budget and test your DIY skills. You might fall in love with the Victorian beauty only to discover it needs a new roof, upgrades to the electrical wiring, and lead paint abatement. 
those costs can add up quickly, leaving you with less money to enjoy your new home. If you're set on an older home though, get a thorough inspection by a qualified professional and factor in the potential repair costs before you buy, or consider a newer home with modern amenities and fewer maintenance headaches. Number six, homes on a septic system, the stinky situation. Septic systems might seem like a minor detail, but they require regular maintenance and can be costly to repair or replace. Plus, let's be honest, no one wants to deal with a backed up septic tank. Imagine having to pump your septic tank every few years, or worse, dealing with a system failure that requires costly replacement. Not exactly the ideal housewarming gift. If you're considering a home with a septic system, factor in those maintenance costs and make sure you understand the responsibilities and the risks that come with it. Remember, buying your first home is a big step. Avoid these pitfalls and you'll be well on your way to a happy home ownership here in Indianapolis. If you're ready to find the perfect first home here in Indy, I'm here to help. Give me a call at 317-414-9355 or visit my website at jankorealtygroup.com. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful real estate tips and insights. Let's make your home ownership dreams a reality. Thanks.